I need a swamp in my top two cards. Else my hand sucks. What else? What else can I draw? Swamp plus land cycler. Two grief is kind of mid. So no. Rip. That showing for the troll this game. Alright. Do I want the second saga? Or do I want uh Wait, what's the other card I bottomed? Shards. Saga, play a second saga, make a token. Lose value out of one, but get a token. Definitely getting rid of Urborg. I keep bone shards, but I'm not even sure it's correct. Maybe I'm supposed to be all in on Saga and just keep the extra artifacts. Oh, I forgot to put the one up manufacturer. Right. Yeah, I messed up. I guess it doesn't matter what I kept. I would have lost it to uh, two bosses. Never mind. That could be okay at some point. My thoughtsies. Seems kind of weird to thoughtsies now. Um, but I'm. I mean, what am I gonna have that's better than making a token next turn? Given my hand, maybe wait a turn. I guess they have maybe something else to do next turn. Not really though, right? I know Blood Moon, please. For sure. Alright, well, Daredevil doesn't really save me anymore. We know about Fury, Double Fane Death. Let's make a token and hope they don't rip a red card. Actually, I'm done. Let's get a draw. Yeah, that worked out kind of perfectly. How did the blue black merc type deck do? I went two free. Deck was kind of medium as expected. I think Malice could be a little better, but it it was fine. Ransom was really good. Maybe my curve was a little too high. Maybe I had too many charms in my deck. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh my god, so let me kill the one at least. There's like not a lot of cards that do something in my deck either. It's like Persist, Bowmaster, that's it. Obviously Bowmaster is not nearly as good. You can Voidwalker? You can Voidwalker what? Oh yeah, they can Voidwalker my Persist. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. We tried rhinos with repudiates. Is that the split cards? Uh, I mean, I don't. I'm not really a rhino gamer. I think rhino kind of sucks. Well, I can't even block right. They have a million fiend death in hand. They're being a little obnoxious in chat. They're being very chatty. Well, to be fair, they were chatty even when they were like not doing so great. But I said interesting game, lol, and I said, is it? What's interesting about it? I mean, I have literally no decisions because I'm hellbent every turn. Interesting, as in you like drawing perfectly and getting lucky up Ragavan. I don't, I don't get it. Like, what's so interesting about it? I'm dead on board if I do that. I guess I can't. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling is salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. I think I should play the land so I can maybe sag the food. I don't know if stacking the food is relevant. Are they keeping to cast? What are they casting? Or two? You have to triple chump, then I die. The chump was everyone. The fiend of their fury. Am I supposed to just attack with like one? 
one at a time. I'll try that, I guess. Two. This two makes sense. Attack was two. You can block, block, bring it back, make one off. I go up to 10 potentially. I don't know. I'm just confused. But it finished two off if it blocks like that, right? Maybe not. It's four, they put three and a one. No, maybe they can't finish two off. I mean, we knew about that, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about it. I have to chomp and they bring it back. Yeah, I even have another one. I'm just like, I'm just screwed, honestly. But that persist, it was so, so annoying. I guess I should play Gara's Vengeance. Gara's Vengeance wouldn't have worked there. Yet another reason. I guess I can sack both foods so that, like, their token doesn't die. But I'm not sure what I can draw at this point. Nice play. I'm gonna wait for damage to go on the stack. Before casting a feign death, did they hit another persist? It's obscene. I mean, I don't think it matters, but no, there's there's even pyro. It does nothing. Mm -hmm. I think I just want all my Voidwalker answers for the most part. I guess I just have to cut secrets. Oh, grief's pretty bad too. Grief's probably not very exciting. Lily could be okay. No, doesn't sound that great either. Brutality could be okay. Relic, relic, relic. Relic doesn't even work. Stonework, I guess. Stoneworks. Against the scam draws. By the stone. All right, let's do that. I think I just start cooking. Getting a get in the kitchen. Herbert was troll lady fetch for any land. Yep, I think so. Now Herbert's only lands in play. That'd be pretty sick. Imagine how good Bowmaster is. I don't know. Do you think, uh, do you actually think Bowmaster is going to be enough to fight off, uh, to fight off the ring? I'm kind of wasting my time if it's not enough. Well, it's not the only thing I've got going on. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think the deck is, like, super good against the ring, but I'm trying to find out, I guess. Um, well, my hand's kind of trash, right? The for Bowmaster. Okay, there's nothing to scam here. I want, I want all my cards in the graveyard anyways. Joke's on you. All right, Persis, I probably win. Asmo, I probably win. Saga, I probably win. Win's not the worst. It's a Daredevil. Next, if I draw another one. Thoughts on scales in modern? I've never really played the deck. It doesn't seem that great to me. It's their big finish. <laughs> okay. It is a preemptive answer to uh, Asmo, I guess. I think maybe they should have... I guess I was going to start stacking the food tokens regardless of them playing uh, an explosives or not. It gets uh, the army token too. First. 
I've been on KYD, you ask about sales. Do you like it? Do you want to build it? Do you think it's trash? Do you think it's well positioned in the meta? That is pretty low value for them. It does kind of stop me from casting the Daredevil, kind of. I don't think I'm supposed to cast it. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I don't think I can cast it. Just picked up some Chinese Ozilis for eight dollars a piece and felt inclined to build it. That's are you hyped for the PT? Yeah, I'm pretty hyped for the PT. I have two extra cards. Kind of keeping pace right now, just sacking a fruit a turn. And Daredevil becomes Daredevil becomes better if I try a second cookbook. Let's see. Also, they could just have Fury, and if I cast it, it's I guess it doesn't matter to kill it. I get it back. It's the same thing. They have a Fury. Yeah. Let's hang the second one because if I draw ask why I get another cookbook anyways. Daredevil's kind of yes, actually. It's like doesn't care about Fury, right? I block, I block and I get it back, and I discard it. I blue black Mart I do as unfortunately as average as I expected. It was the ransom was really good, I thought. The Bowmaster was fine, pretty solid. I lost a mirror match, kind of. They were playing Grixis. I beat Scales, I lost to Math. I beat the Door deck, and I lost pretty close one to Hammer. So what's the play here? Make an artifact. Get back that. I guess I should do that before they draw Lightning Bolt. That's a good card. Uh oh. Yeah, we didn't enjoy mail. Yeah, maybe. I mean, any deck's enjoyable if it's good enough. And I like to interact with my opponents, I think. But why not save explosives for zero here? Why one? Because of Saga, I guess. Assuming it's just cookbook. Wisdom having Saga on one. So now what? This thing exile graveyards. I can hard cast Daredevil. I can play a cookbook. Get another food. It's bad. Yeah, I love Peter 2v2. I'm, I'm always fairly happy when I have that card in my sideboard. Oh, I'm just dead on board. I'm an idiot. Wow, I forgot about Menace. Well, that was a little frustrating. I just never really drew anything good. I like, like both games that like drew so bad and whatever. We could have eight. Yeah, yeah, I messed up. And obviously they gave me the aggro GG in chat. Read the room, buds. They drew well and I drew poorly. Yeah, mobs five game one kind of drew a bunch of bricks in game two. Cam is playing more hated Sugi than usual. Why would he be playing more hated Sugi than usual? Doesn't seem good against the good decks. I mean, I think the card is sweet and good in general, but I don't know why you're, why you're saying more than usual. Just chatting. Rhinos? Isn't Rhinos just trash tier right now? I don't know. I always think Rhino is trash tier, to be fair. You're playing Blood Crypt, Thought Seeds, Bubble, No Giganta. Rhinos was the ring. Oh, that's what you were playing yesterday. Was that good? Doesn't seem like the ring would be good in random decks, but okay. Next turn, I can tutor for 
persist, Bowmaster, Osmo. If I cycle this on turn one, I guess I should try and hire all uh, an Osmo here. Yeah, I'm hating these griefs already. Every time we cast it, it was sick. Yeah, you have a lot of cheap spells in Rhinos. You see someone 5 always burn with the ring yesterday? No. It's not surprising. I mean, why not? You have all cheap. I mean, the ring is good when you have all cheap cards, right? Top of your curve. Or when you have the ways to, like, cheat a bunch of mana to use it. Hey, MD. Hello. Enjoy the lurking. Ooh, I can tutor for three mana black card that I don't have. Um, maybe say go here. Save um, save three trace so I can cast last my next turn. The ring is really good with a pal of catch spells. Yeah, played three desperate rituals to ramp it out. <laughs> I was wondering, scam wasn't playing just ring. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing there's a lot of people around not playing the ring right now because they just can't can't afford it. Like me, I have asthma this turn. Really? Wow. You're a real wizard, Harry. Jokes on them. Might be time to grief, right? I'm at 12. Oh man. Oh. I'm gonna take 8 down to 4. Oh no, I guess that works. Never mind. I'm dumb. I can uh, Daredevil once and then just cast it. Death Shadow. 6-6 six, six Death Shadow. Fable's really good for them too. Well, I guess I'm in bolt range after all. And the biggest problem is I'm in endurance range, actually. Hmm, maybe taking Fable was a mistake. I didn't think about Fable making them a little bigger. Not great plays by me. Yeah, I might have won if I had just taken Death Shadow there, assuming they don't draw anything great. I guess it's not that bad, actually. Daredevil trades was endurance. I think it was worse than it was. It's actually just fine, yeah, as long as they don't top deck. I see they have a trillion top decks, though. I am dead to bolt anyways. It doesn't kill me though. Persist. Might even just be alive. Oh no, I'm one mana short. Oh no, I think I get to live. Oh, never mind. Either drum or cookbook, not both. And go up to four, and I take exactly four. Yeah. Literally losing because, like, my Archon's not a fatal push these last two games, I think. Losing was I'm stuck. I just don't have. Was that Profane Tutor? I think was that Profane Tutor? These decks get much worse because you don't have the power of. You don't combine them often enough. I don't know, maybe it's just bad luck. 
Relic seems nice. Inquisition seems nice. Lily against Bowmaster buff. Push. Don't Bowmaster to fight Stair Bowmasters. Grave seems pretty heinous. Odyssey seems kind of mid. Apaph's okay against them. Odyssey is good to protect my combo, I guess. Why do I care about their Bowmaster? Not sure. Alright, obviously I'm missing a piece here, but I think this is fine to keep. Alright, didn't bring in a... Didn't bring in Haywire Might. It must be nice to be a Leyline Gamer and just actually have it in a spot where it's relevant, you didn't have to mulligan for it. You have a you have like a playable hand on the side. Who are these people? Excuse me, they took Archon? Scar scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's some solid sequencing right there. Gonna archer my face. Well, it's, it's a good play by me. Just took two extra damage for no reason. Clearly, they have something if they're attacking. Good play. Great plays. The best plays. They matter. Let's do Inquisition first. Two basic forests. And they're worried about Blood Moon. I mean, I'll take it. I'd rather see that than two spells, obviously. Or some spell that costs four mana. Finally, some justice. Trying a dead ley line. A land, uh, two lands. Let's let's be fair. Are really free lands? Oh, they're dead. I'm so bad. I didn't realize they were dead on board. I think that spell seems suboptimal. Whoopsie. That's what I get for making fun of my open and sequencing. I saw bring in one might, you got me. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. Oh, that sort of seems like it should be fine. It pings some of their creatures. They might have Season Pirate at Fable. I think Murkite's falling off. I have literal no idea. You have to ask people who play Murktide. I'm not even really getting paired against Murktide since the new set came out. I don't remember what I played against in the first weekend of the challenges. Maybe I played against a bunch of Murktide. Did I not update the deck list? I'll update the deck list. Found this keep confusing? Well, it's confusing about my keep. Add lands and spells and somewhat functional hands. I think I might just take a turn off here. I don't want to kill that Chandler right away before they get value out of it. Out of every removal spell they cast. Maybe I should be more worried about the Death Shadow. We'll see. They inside their fetch land. Monkam. Not draw a cookbook. Is it not draw persist?
through War is possible. I think Asmo is probably one of the best cards I could have drawn, actually. In, in it. Not great, but I'll take it, I guess. I guess Saga would have been better. Persist would have been better. He didn't even think about Endurance. So either they didn't notice, or they were up 6 or they feel like they don't care. Which one is it? Uh, they would have to like pull themselves. Or any other line that keeps their shadow alive. I didn't want to attack because I didn't want to do that on my turn. And then their sh if I attack them, their shadow gets bigger. Alright. We win. Oh, gosh. That got attacked pretty hard by Chad this, this league, though. Making me put grief in my deck. Hi, hi chat. This hand does nothing so far, but I'm not I'm not mulliganing, obviously. Don't you know who I say by now? How unlucky I am. I'm pretty lucky in in Pro Tours. Zero point zero three. So one one in thirty thousand times or three thousand? Three hundred three thousand, right? Was Secrets good for me in, in the other spots? It was fine, right? I ended up losing that game one, but it was it was solid. That's fun on playing just burn. Does anyone know what white red Boros or white red thingy is? Maybe the fair Asmo deck is gas. Yeah. So I keep I keep drawing poorly in these games because I have all these weird cards and never been able to combining them. I always see that's like part of the deck, right? It's like the variants. When you do your thing, it's like super powerful, and, and the downside is you get these draws. Magus of the Moon main deck. You get bone shards. All right, never mind. Persist Archon's just great. So opponents playing kind of a prison deck. Well, they don't have Solitude in their deck because they have. Oh no, they can have. They're playing like a, a bling deck. They can have Solitude, Ephemerate. Can have all these cards. Like once more, but yeah, Bone Shards is is sweet in this deck. I don't think you want too many, but it usually delivers for me. Yeah, it looks like they're probably playing a bling deck. Fable, Ephemerate, Solitude, all that good stuff. That'd be my guess. Let's see if they have an immediate answer. Where's the Archon? Out of me, I guess. Wow. For it all. Yeah, that's a bit better. They did have to pitch Ranger Captain of Eos for it. All right. Okay. I have no cards left, but they have Obosh. Maybe a fast clock. Easy. Hellbent. Season Pyro. No biggie. Was it crazy last time to play Asma and wait on the Persist? No, oh, maybe not. I honestly didn't think about it. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, my, my draws are just the not low, like, every game. Not even a land cycler to enable Asma. Okay, push looks pretty bad. Position seems fine. Lily seems solid. Mm. 
They're gonna have what kind of graveyard hate are they gonna have? They're playing Obosh. So they're gonna have relics. Oh great for Garam. That's gonna be boarding out grief every every round, I guess. That seems heinous. In this deck, obviously. In general. Joke a lamb twitch. Welcome to the chat. People like playing scam seems like enjoying so much and making opponent unhappy. I mean a lot of decks, to be fair, a lot of decks in magic uh, have ways to make their opponent unhappy. Discard, counterspell, blood moon, turn free tron, this is the living end draws, the busted living end draws, turn to half or turn to Teferi off a halfling. Scam's very proactive. Yeah. Uh, Saga, get a troll, play a bowmaster, get a drum, seems fine, right? Probably not ideal, but good enough. Might be might be just good to play Saga for anyone with the bowmaster here. We should just all play limited. No more uh no more constructed for anyone. Momir, Momir Unlimited. Pretty solid. Mm, all right, now what? Saga Inquisition. I need to lead with Inquisition, even though it means no Bowmaster this turn. See if my saga is safe. I have Blood Moon. They have a Third Land. They have a Fable. Their Fable is going to be pretty powerful, I guess, but. Played Swamp first because I want to play Bowmaster before they Fable trigger. Yeah, it's just bad, though. Yeah, I don't care that much about Fable. Yeah, I do. These bowmasters are just infinitely worse than Profane Tutor in all these games. I think that's what's happening right now. I'm such a munson. I forgot. I forgot if I played it after damage. I, I, I forgot. Uh, and I didn't play that in their upkeep to ping Shaman. Oh, that was a disaster. I keep forgetting I don't get another 1 1 to block here and non tap 2 2. Oh, that was terrible. Why? Why Gab? Play these plays. Obosh. Obosh seems amazing in their deck. I mean, last game. Last game, Obosh could have been in like hugely relevant. It didn't matter because I bricked out and they drew more spells, but. Yeah, I mean, that, that last turn was not playing Saiga. Like, everything about the last couple of turns was just unmitigated disaster. Oh no, the Believers, or the Doubters. Believers in shambles at my misplays. I'm just still on board. Throughout were two good words for Doubt they are worthy. I mean, plus my deck is, I think my deck's just, that, that does not look very good. Not our awful luck and grief. And I do have this, my mediocre scam draw with persist grief if I want to. I say give me that ran in six. That's not wrong. Otzi's bug? Just a haul. <laughs> do I let them have a Teferi? I care damn much. I think I kind of care. Just 
that's so far behind. Looks like they drew something good. Scratch that. They drew something very mediocre. They have like 16 billion lands. I guess I'm just attacking, attacking them. I think this is a reasonable spot to ignore Ren and Six. But they're playing Narset. Oh, right, they're not playing Creativity. Playing Narset. Narset ending. All right. Oh, why did I do that now? Oh my god. This is so tilting. Yeah, not attacking Ren. Well played by me. Well freaking played by me. Dude, I'm playing so atrocious. Why Gab? Why make the token uh, sorcery speed? Now they're gonna find a one ring. Time warp. Time warp doesn't do much. Sure. Great cards. Two Fred is pretty good with Planeswalkers and Renin 6. Two mana explore, better time warp. <laughs> Actually, it's worse. Okay. We're still good. Does their deck do anything? I just have the one ring somewhere in there. Good. Pew, 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 pew. Did I just kill them? Did it just dobs? Am I missing something? I think they're just dobs. I think we know their hand, right? I think their hand is all lands. Let's bring in Inquisition. Let's bring in Needle. Let's bring in Relic. Literally kind of bad against Ren. I don't really have much I want to board out here. I think trimming one Daredevil is probably okay. Secret's probably pretty mid in this matchup. I should probably have at least one Might. I have the Archer so far. It's pretty good. I like it. I guess I'll just board out these creeps again. They're just heinous. I'll try Lily. Archering some. 2k? What do you think? Think I'm going soft or something? 2k. Nice try, buddy, with you. Last one second. How do you know what's the art rank sound? Forest Go? Forest Go is interesting. <laughs> Forest Go is just... All right, you got me. I mean, if you had Veil, you would still play a fetch land, right? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna name Ren and Six anyways. But I feel like I just got psyched out here and they don't have Veil. Okay, maybe they have Veil. <laughs> that is that is a sick bluff right there. Dip Shadow Archer shall be good. Yeah. Um, Adam sent me a list earlier. It's just Grixis Shago was was Bowmaster. Why not? Solemnity. Solemnity in Modern? They don't have it? Nah, they have it. No one does that. No one does that stuff just for... Just for Veil Equity. Already, I'm just telling myself that because if not, it means I just got absolutely owned. I mean, to be fair, they have nothing to do in the early turns of the game. It is good to lead with Forest there. The Lemony Phyrexian on life combo was a sack combo shell. Do you have a list you want to share? Because I've never seen uh, I think I've never seen anything like it. The next label play. The next label play.
I'll at least to take a bunch of damage. And I have nothing much else. I don't have anything else to do. I don't know, maybe I should have waited. Alright, once again. Once again, ignoring the Planeswalker. The bull strats. Thanks, guys. Welcome to chat. Kyrk, Kyrk. Cut throats here. Four kitchen things, free clerics. Luminous Broodmoth, Persist, Cord, Aldridge. I have no idea what's going on. Broodmoth, whenever a creature control was out of that flying dies, we change the battle pillar and was a flying counter. How do you remove the flying counters? As long as, oh, it's Solemnity. Players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifact, creature, enchantments. Okay, so these two combo together. I mean, if this if this two combo card locks locks enough decks in modern, it's kind of worth it. Primo works with so many as a counter, yeah. I mean, in the hindsight, if I'd played my thoughts earlier, they might have had they might not have had double veil. Can still attack the fairy. On the worst draw ever. I don't know. Can't target them, right? Could have done that in their upkeep. But then they draw two in response. Maybe it's not even better. One ring, Gorio. Yeah, I'm a little worried that the sack sticks effect is not going to be enough in some spots, but maybe it will almost always be. Because if they don't take the 15 damage, you've invested a lot of resources and mana to, you know, to assemble Gorio Emrakul. If they have a Ren in play, I guess you can attack the Ren. You can attack the Ren. Are they just going to kill themselves to the Bowmaster, or...? Did have a removal spell. Six. Okay. Okay. Come to three. Are you just played Solemnity so like the Shredder and the Merc die just more vanilla creatures or whatever? Um, random extra interaction. How does Solemnity work against the One Ring? Put a burden counter on the one ring, then draw a card for each burden counter on the one ring. Players can't get counters. Congress can't be put. Is, is Solemnity just like broken in, in modern somehow? You still get the protection effect, but that's not that exciting. Solemnity? Kind of got my interest. I, I don't know. It seems like still clunky. You have a lot of um, like they're playing twenty-two lands. You have your mana dorks that are gonna die. You're gonna like miss your third land drop a lot. You have way too many free mana cards in your deck. Way way too many expensive cards. They're playing like Court of Calling was at Wall of Roots, which is just like I think your deck could, needs to be like I think your list is way too greedy. Pretty much always going to keep Thoughtsy Saga draw with, you know, another spell or two. It would be interesting to go down the list of decks and see who can beat, who can't beat, who can't get out of the lock. Like, Living In has, what, one... One Basei who won out of war to get out of the lock. Maybe they have Force and Grief so they can pick you apart, but... I don't have three spells, right? But the one damage a turn and not being able to gain life is going to get me, probably. Things has all stabilized a lot and it gives an infinite life combo where it could totally be any of the undying one or two drops. Oh no, your deck just doesn't look like super functional to me. It looks a little too expensive, but I could be wrong. Obviously I could be wrong. I could grief here and then I get to secrets for one instead of just zero, but 
Still just getting another Asmo, really. Arca does grief with Mausoleum Secrets. We all just grief now. What does Phyrexian on life do on its own? Don't lose the game for having zero life for less. As long as you have zero life for life, all damage you have to use. Spice a lot of time. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this list. I'm going to assume it's just not very good, but as always, as always, I could be wrong. I think it's better to play Grief now before they try another Vortex, and then I can't play it as a pitch spell anymore. I wonder who came up with Rolling Vortex main deck. That seemed pretty good. I kind have of searing blades for my token, but I think that's fine. Just one damage. So I'm using our searing blades. Oh, oh, that just happened. That's easy. Not that I needed it this game, but I'll take it, I guess. This cookbook making food, gaining life would have been enough, most likely. Alright, they're probably gonna have the 2 2. I guess I need to bring in all my removal and my inquisition. Maybe my mites. Everything that kills the 2 2 that exiles the graveyard. Got Thoughtseize. Gonna cut Street Trade. Um, I cut the secrets. Why not? How should I cut? Oh, the griefs. Always the griefs. Um, Relic Needle Stone. I'm just going to keep in one street wraith. It's fine. Slurring Pain Modern Legal. Like, well, it's like Wild well Mongrel set, right? Yeah, the griefs. I mean, I was pretty skeptical, but at least it makes it easy to sideboard. You'll love to see it. Speaking of loving to see it, man, here is nice. I could even discard to hand size. Oh, never mind. That was easy. No, I don't have. I, I don't discard to hand size and then get shrugged by the two two. Oh, never mind. It played mountain on turn on. Well, this four mono red player. I just had it. Seventeen land deck. By the way, easy hits of Goblin Guide. Not that it matters, but. Yeah, they could have like random Surgical or random Orvar. Burn's probably not the worst Orvar deck. Dude, why do I jinx it? Why do I always jinx it? I didn't have to do it this turn. I could have waited. I was in no rush. And oh, it's kind of justice, honestly. If that isn't sweet, sweet justice. Eight, nine, I'm probably just dead. You can't believe what fell. Dude, I thought about it way too late. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. Thought about it way, way, way too late. Hey now. <laughs> but you know, magic, magic is just all luck. Nothing I could have done. This game was just bad luck. JBL. Classic JBLs. The next label play. The next label play. <laughs> this is money of my life. I'd like to take this chance to apologize. To absolutely nobody! Alright. Yatta! Good thing this matchup's right, just great for me. Yeah, this hand is amazing, right? How can I get Brutal wrecked? Savage wrecked. How can I get wrecked with this hand? Need a little wear tear action. All time wear tear. Little shattering spree. Miser's shattering spree. Miser's wear tear. 
The 2 2, I mean, the 2 2 would be a good start for them. Maybe they have, if they are all one ups, they just go like the 2 2 that exile stuff, and then they go Blood Moon, and then Shattering Spree. Surgical for my Daredevil. They just crack a food every turn. I don't know. We'll see. I play Bowmaster to get some little clock. They're trading cards for two mana. I will say, I don't love their chances. I don't know. Maybe maybe they outpace me. What's the play here? Brutality, maybe? Take a little peek. Doesn't feel that great. That's pretty good. Get to discard there and then we'll get it back with the knights. Well, well, well. Grief was an absolute date. I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't good either. And then Secrets was just bad because you're coming to keep right? kind of whatever. Winking face. They weren't fish. Maybe maybe one Secrets is okay. What's up? Thanks for the reset. I am not going to KubeCon. I think Reed is going though. What did we lose to? We lost to Scam and we lost to the White Red deck. Yeah, it's, it's just Profane Tutor, right? I think Profane Tutor is just too good in these decks. And you're like not the worst at fighting off the fairy anymore. You have Bone Master, you have Bone Shards, you have Saga plus Asmo. Sometimes they maybe have to pick. I think for profane tier is just mandatory in these decks. Hey Nooch, Puffy Nooch, can't you get me to try your list?